Hi, welcome to the GF channel. Today's episode will be very exciting because we are actually programming the automator or uh, mileage or whatever it's called for this new uh, speedometer which has the trip computer in it, in which I finally figured out how to do, how to install into my car, but I of course want my own um, mileage plus 400 kilometers because while testing out stuff I actually drove about 400 kilometers um, so we're going to not only flash new values but increase them change them now um, I'm going to tell you two things first very 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 cheap this is very cheap but second very 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 hard very hard to do because you need to desolder this one out of this place this is where uh, the numbers are stored it's a 93C56 chip EEPROM chip which we need to program and you need to desolder it because even with these clips when you clip it it doesn't work because you're applying ground and 5 volts to the appropriate pins which then power on the whole circuitry through your USB port not good not going to happen actually I did try um, so you need to desolder that part this is extremely hard and then resolder it of course afterwards now as for the programmer which I'm going to use <clears throat> as, I, as I said extremely cheap this one CH 341A uh, China I, it, it came from China I, I was actually surprised because nothing seemed to be coming because of this corona thingy um, but this came this came along with this clip and this adapter and this thing which I actually then used for this which you will need to do uh, because the supplied one actually doesn't work the supplied one should go here uh, there are two separate uh, um, places for different ICs different EEPROMs but it doesn't work for for this one for this particular so this is not useful fortunately they did supply another PCB which was not even soldered I had to solder this header, they also supplied the header they didn't supply this header though, I had to buy it uh, fortunately I had one because well, I think it works uh, so the way you, you actually solder these this header actually goes to here like that like that click the way you actually solder these is quite simple the numbers here they do match the numbers on the from coming from the documentation of the chip so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 these are exactly in the same order as in the chip um, the way you solder them as if, if you see at the at the bottom of this one you have uh, in this direction you have those so the, fir the, the first and the second are swapped everything else from from the bottom to the top go follows the numbers so first of the chip number one there should be connected to the CS then the second number two there should be connected to the CLK then the third fourth fifth sixth and seventh are connected exactly in this order and the eighth pin of the 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 uh, the EEPROM should also be connected to five volts. So seven and eight, the same wire, and pretty much that's the result. Uh, now you plug in this thing, this thing here, and now the clips. For the clips, if you if you are not familiar with those things, the red wire means pin number one, and because red is clearly on the right currently but when you look at it from the bottom how do you know which which of the two from the right it, it's connected to so it's connected to the one that's actually here marked uh, on the plastic 
this pin here on the plastic is actually for you not to be able to reverse it on the back there's nothing like that so from the side of this pin uh, security pin that that's thing that, that's the the hole number one and you need to align it here and just clip it like that then uh, for the clip you can see where the red one goes that's pin number one and that needs to go to pin number one on the on the EEPROM pin number one on the EEPROM is the marked with this mm, dot which is not printed it's actually hardware dot that's pin number one you just have to clip it like that but uh, you need to solder that that's the hardware part the software part I'm actually going to go in a bit once I actually go to uh, programming it um, basically though you need a laptop or a computer of course preferably with Linux or Linux I don't know what the pronunciation is um, because driver is out of the box you don't have the hustle of it but of course uh, Linux has its uh, problems with uh, other software like it's more not 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 that visual as Windows so uh, it will be harder to show you flash ROM and etc etc that's why I got this old laptop which doesn't even have a working keyboard so I, I have a virtual keyboard here um, with Windows XP and it's XP it's, I believe it's important because of the drivers because this is a Chinese thing and who cares about software uh, it works beautifully on Windows XP I already tested okay uh, now what we need to do we need two numbers to start with we need to, to get the number we are actually after so this number right here seven six four all eight this is one of the numbers we need uh, of course I'm going to increase it with 400 and the other one is in here so I'm going to oh, crap my wires just fell off I'll see if I can fix that with one hand I was so careful during that whole time Okay, let me just fix the wires these are just to power on the uh, to power on the speedo so it shows shows its data okay we have everything connected and now if I just grab this and this and connect those of course with one hand it will be very hard ah come on okay connected so that's the other one we are interested in this is important this is for sanity check if we are using the, the proper algorithm for calculating so 230018 this we also need to take note of and afterwards I'm actually currently going to go and do some desoldering. And so, chip was desoldered. I've placed it into the clips. You have to make sure it's a good, good, good contact. It, it gives a good contact into the clips. It's already here. I have the two numbers. The top one is the one that are, is currently flashed into the chip and the bottom one is the calculated one that I need to flash to the chip the software part now as I said I bought this from Aliexpress and there was this download thingy that's for the driver if you double click it and click install it's going to install it but I already have that one now if I go to right click on the my computer, go to manage, click on device manager and here I'm going to see for the interface there you go CH341A so all good this is the driver driver side Linux doesn't need such a thing uh, then, we, then that, that's the software for uh, 
programming, reading and writing and that's the calculator for the mileage uh, I'm going to actually start first with that one or actually no, let's first read it it's always important to read first AS program programmer and that's the version you can see from here you go choose IC microware microchip and you choose uh, M93C5616 bits not 8 bits 16 bits you choose it and then you hit read it goes down and shows you the result so this is the result first thing you want to do save it um, going to this is for that's for another speedo that I did before prior uh, when I was actually trying the whole procedure so uh, my keyboard is not working I'll just well, I'll just say this is called O O dot bin Am I typing? I have no idea. Enter. Okay. So, this is currently saved. And I should actually check that it is saved on the desktop. Yes, o.bin. Okay, since I know it's saved, I can now do uh, test the uh, write procedure to see if everything is good for writing. So, if I just hit on program, it asks me, do you want a program, are you sure? And I say, yes, I am. goes at the bottom. And just maximize that. It should be visible, yes. And it says success. And now if I hit verify, it says success. So, everything seems good. One thing that I see here, I do not like the values. They are definitely not like in the uh, other speedo that I did. We'll see what happens. Now, let's go with the uh, software for calculating the, ve the uh, value. So here, I am going to copy the currently flushed number. Copy. Come here, paste. And then select from here. Now, that's the interesting part. From the Mazda, you have Mazda 323626, not as a drop down, which is uh, our chip 93656 2002 year. But then you have a, draw, a, a one that goes uh, in, which again has the C56. As you can see, the preface lift has a C46, not 66, not 56. And here you can see we have two more options, this one and this one and they all give different results so you have to actually experiment that's why we need the first the, the originally written number so we can do a check which of those algorithms we need to use because I did it, I did it already I know that this is my algorithm you click calculate button and here it says for those kilometers this is the number that needs to repeat you see these, all these repeating numbers, 48, 41 is a mileage. So, 33556 should repeat on all of those rows. And that's what I didn't like here, because it's only at the beginning. 33556, it's only on row 0, the whole row, and like half of the uh, row 1. The rest doesn't seem to be actually the same it varies a little bit just a little bit but it still varies actually maybe it's not a little bit but who knows so what I'm going to do well since I have this already saved I can modify the way I actually did modify it and the way this program uh, says you have to modify everything I'm going to modify everything not only what is actually written here and i um, hoping this is still going to work because I have to solder the chip and if it doesn't work I have to desolder the chip uh, when 
So I'm still going to use the approach that I already tested and I know it's working. Uh, one thing you should know, these actually do not represent the whole number here. Uh, the last two numbers I believe are excluded from it. This doesn't have that resolution right here. So the 18 should, I believe should stay and I should only change that part. So end result should be 176818, not 08. So 10 kilometers more than I need, which is fine. You can you can actually tell that that's happening because if I go here and I, I say I want to add one kilometer, hit equal and then calculate, you see for one kilometer more gives me absolutely the same number. This is because this one does not change at all the value. Okay, so because my keyboard now is actually not functioning and I have to replace a lot of things uh, I'm going to pause the video, replace it and then resume it for the flash procedure and here I have replaced everything with uh, the value calculated by the calculator for that number here I get 9B4A so I have replaced 9 before a the first row and and a bit that it was the original reading and I've also included everything else down which was the afterwards I my guess is this has something to do with this trip trip meter the two trip meters that you have but I'm not quite sure so I don't know I just do it like that we'll see now if I hit verify of course it says it's not the same as what's written here so we are going to write it program yes programming success verify verification is successful just to make sure I'm going to close it uh, open it again and read and we can see our 9B4 is everywhere. Okay, so let's do some soldering and see the final result. And so I have it here soldered and not the prettiest of solderings. Uh, the other one was actually better that I did. And now if I flip it, I've, al I've already powered it on. If I flip it, you're going to see this one. Now it's a bit off of what I typed in and what I was expecting. I was expecting here to be 18 and at the end not 98. But the 98 is interesting because on my previous attempt on the, on the other one, on the other speedo that I actually tested on, um, I, I've placed a round number. 18,000, uh, kilometers and it came out 180,000 plus 98 so apparently the calculator does something bad at the end and always rounds up to 98 for some reason I have no idea why but it does that and now instead of me having 400 kilometers I have almost 500 on top but I don't want to unsolder again and <laughs> do the whole thing again. It's fine. Find 100 kilometers uh, over. I'm going to leave. Okay, so this is ready to go into the car, of course, after cleanup and uh, things for the next video. Okay, next video, I'll be showing you how to make this happen. So hit subscribe and ring that bell to get notified when it's live. Bye bye.